look good on me. Sparkles, this is the front of the store. Come on. Wait, you mean there's more? Okay. I've never seen anything more glorious in my life. Sparkles, you're drooling a little bit. Yeah, I sure am. I've never seen this many beautiful shoes under one roof before. Oh my goodness. Okay, Sparkles. I'm gonna sit right here and uh, I'll just let you go through the shoes and pick out the ones that you really, really want. Make sure that they're not too expensive, okay? Yeah, yeah, okay. Thank you, Grandma. You're welcome, dear. Come on, Sparkles, let's start over here. Okay. These ones are 50% off, Sparkles. You should see if you like any of them. What does 50% off even mean? It means that they're half price, little lady. Oh my gosh, you scared me nearly half to death. Don't do that to me. Well, uh, I reckon I'm sorry, little lady. Can I answer any more questions? For you? Um, no, thank you, Timmy. We are just fine. Bye. All right. Well, just know that I've got the right shoe for you. So, if you're having trouble finding the right shoe, just let me know. I'll get it for you. Okay, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. I got to go help this new customer over here. Okay, anyway, where were we? You were about to try these new shoes on, Sparkles. Those shoes? Those will nearly go up to my knees, at least. You won't know if you don't try them. Yeah, yeah, all right, I'll try them. They are pink. Hmm, they are kind of cute, huh? Hmm. I like how they feel when I walk in them. Well, howdy, how are you two fun ladies doing? Doing better than ever. Um, I need your highest priced, beautifulest shoes. What do you have? Oh yeah, I also need some new shoes too. Some really, really nice expensive ones. All right, follow me ladies. All righty, for you my lady, I would have to direct you to these cheetah print shoes. They have red soles and they are absolutely 100% organic and original. Okay, well how much are they? I'm not spending like $5 on these shoes. They better be expensive. Well, might I add, they are the La La Oola La brand, so they are very pricey. We're uh, talking $250 for these shoes. Great, I'll take them. All right, there you are. Woo, so excited. Mine. And then for you, I would have to direct you to these beautiful purple boots right here. Oh, they're beautiful. Okay, I'll get them. Wow, they fit so well. Wow, yeah, those are really pretty boots. Cowboy dude, how much are her boots? Oh, uh, well, those ones are $300. What? Really? Uh, yes, ma'am. Is that okay? Um, no. Yeah, of course it's okay. Um, Harper, <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go hide real quick. Uh, yeah, me too. actually afford. Yeah, they're just uh, a cheap brand. Ew, gross. Why are you even here then if you can't even afford nice shoes? Well, my grandma's buying them for me, so I'm trying not to spend too much money. Oh, how sad. You don't even have money, so you have to ask your grandma for money? Oh my gosh. Okay, come on. Let's get out of here. I can't be in a store with these peasants around. Ew. <laughs> Oh, uh, well, hey, little lady, can I uh, direct you to any uh, other shoes that you have in mind? No, but I'll take those sparkly pink ones on the second shelf. Oh, wow. Okay, let me grab them for you. Okay, thank you. I'm gonna buy these. You find good shoes, Sparkles? Oh, yeah, these are really good shoes. Now let's go to Grandma and have her buy them. Hey, Grandma. Hey, honey, I see you found some shoes. Yep. I'm ready to go now. Okie dokie, let's go pee for them. All right, two pink shoes. 
All right, and your grand total is five hundred dollars. Um, five hundred dollars? Yes, ma'am. Those shoes are the Ooh La La Fancy Sparkly Edition shoes. They're very rare. Oh, um, sparkles. I don't have five hundred dollars to spend. I maybe have twenty, twenty-five, or thirty dollars to spend on new shoes. But I'm sorry, I don't have that much money. Right. I'll go pick out some other ones. All right. Looks like it's me and you, pink shoes. Okay, let's check out these new pink shoes. All right, the new grand total will be five dollars. Oh, great, that's much better. Okay, let me take out my wallet. Okay, all right. Okay, there's a five dollar bill. Keep the change. Come on, Sparkles, let's go home. Okay, come on, Harper. Okay. You know, I've always had a thing for cowboys. <laughs> okay. They were a little weird. Sparkles, honey, are you happy with your new shoes? Yeah, I guess so, Grandma. Sparkles, be nice. That's not nice. You can't be rude to Grandma. She bought your shoes. Sparkles, honey, you didn't even have shoes to begin with, and I've, I've bought you some new shoes. So are, are you happy? Yes, Grandma. It's just that the new shoes you bought me were $5. Right? A steal of a deal if you ask me. Grandma, I think what's happening is um, the cool popular girls at school, they wear really, really expensive high-end shoes. And they came into the store today and they bought just that. Really expensive high-end brand shoes. And uh, Sparkles over here, um, she wanted to get really, really nice shoes. She wants to fit in a little bit. She wants the cool girls to like her. So the fact that she wasn't able to get those shoes because she doesn't have that money. Not you, Grandma. Sparkles doesn't have $500 to spend on shoes that are just going to wear out. She's just feeling frustrated because of that reason. Oh, sweet Sparkles. Those aren't the kind of people you want to impress anyways. Sometimes in life, you just have to step back, literally, and define to you, decide what makes a good friend. Okay, well, Sparkles, go ahead and list off some qualities. What makes a good friend to you? Um, a good friend would be someone that's smart. And, uh, do you think those girls are very smart for spending all of that money on shoes? Not necessarily, but there's other ways to spend your money. It's not my decision on telling them where to spend their money. Maybe that's where they find joy. Okay, well, what other qualities do you think a good friend would have? Um, I think good friends are supposed to help you feel good about yourself. I think they're supposed to be nice and kind and generous and funny. You're supposed to laugh with your friends. That's why having friends is awesome, because you get to be silly and, um, yeah. Okay, so those girls that walked in that you're trying to impress by buying really expensive shoes, do they have any of those qualities that you just listed? Are they nice, generous, funny? Do they make you laugh? Do they may help you feel special and awesome? No, they actually do quite the opposite. They make me feel uh, dumb and um, insignificant and not special. And um, they, they, have, they don't make me um, appreciate help me acknowledge my talents and stuff so no they're not that great of friends at all actually they're horrible friends they're not even my friends at all oh well then granddaughter why are you trying to impress those girls they're obviously not friend material oh grandma i did not even need that advice at this given moment but even i found something important in what you just said to have good friends you have to be that good friend yeah well when you guys put it that way that makes a lot of sense. I've been wasting all of my energy and and brain juice on uh, on people that don't even care about me. Well, I care about you, little lady. Ah, what the? You know, you really gotta stop sneaking up on me like that, Timmy. I'm oh, sorry, little lady. I can't help it. Well, uh, I'm needing to, to, to close this shoe store, so if uh, you guys are all done shopping, I'm gonna need to have you... Uh, Go ahead and help yourselves out that exit door over there. Thank you for shopping with us, and I uh, hope to see you again soon, but not too soon. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Not too soon? Whatever. 
All right, girls, let's get back to Cutie. She's been home alone all by herself, so I'm sure she'd like us back. Let's go. Thanks for stopping by at Timmy's Shoe Store Place. Hope to see you again soon, but not too soon.